So my buddy Ace, who's an absolute boss with a wrench, donated this Craftsman LT1500 riding lawnmower to us a few months back for the homestead project. Uh, needed a lot of work, and between the two of us, we've both been tinkering on it, get it running, then something else goes wrong, and then tinker on it some more. Most recently, he had the tractor at his place, put new spindles on, new blades, adjusted the belts, um, got it running real well. I brought it back up to the homestead property and uh, took it out, and within about 10 minutes, it threw the belt. I got that adjusted, put it away, few days later came back out and went to start it and just got a buzzing sound. It wouldn't turn over, it just continued to buzz. Um, so put it back away, I had to go, came back the next day, went to turn it on and got nothing, no sound whatsoever. I checked the battery, the battery was good, um, but getting no, uh, no reaction whatsoever to the start. So again, needs more tinkering. And unfortunately, I've got so many projects going on at the homestead that uh, we just don't have the opportunity to keep tinkering on, on uh, equipment like this. So Lisa and I made the decision to go ahead and invest in a new riding lawnmower for the homestead project. I'll be giving this back to my buddy Ace. I'm very grateful for him donating this to the project but right now this is just not going to work out for us. So this is the new riding lawnmower. It's the Husqvarna 18542, 18 horsepower, the 42 inch deck, has the hydrostatic transmission, real nice. Brand new, it's got a relatively simple maintenance schedule, which I'll make sure to adhere to. And uh, we hope to have this tractor for the long term here at the homestead. I mowed the uh, orchard, it took me only about 45 minutes, real simple. So real happy with this uh, investment. So I just finished installing the triple O ozone maker. This is the filter that uh, is going to filter out the iron in particular, but other particulates from the water. Uh, that's the ozone bubbles that's surfacing on top of the water in the tank. Really pleased with the water pressure and the new system. That's going to be more than enough.
let's put the uh, cab here and the pen tad here. Nice. So Lisa and I belong to a number of wine clubs, uh, two in Oregon and one in Washington State, the Walla Walla area. And uh, about three times a year, these wineries send us a collection of their, some of their more interesting wines. I built this wine cellar about two years ago. Uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to have a place to begin collecting wines. We both enjoy wine, especially with dinner. And uh, we thought it'd be nice to have a place, like I said, to collect wines for the longer term. So that's what this space is for. We love spending time in here. It's a great feng shui about this place. <laughs> anyway, today's video is going to be a shorter one. I was in Montana visiting a friend of mine uh, this past week. So I've only been here for a couple of days. Um, had a chance to go out to the property yesterday and uh, work on a few things, including beginning the grading of the pad where we're going to build the next outbuilding. So I mentioned in a few videos past that after the Wellhouse project, next project would be to build this outbuilding. Probably going to be something like 16 by 20 space. It's less than 400 square feet, which, uh, as I mentioned before, does not require a permit uh, to build in our county. Uh, because we're on more than two acres, we can build up to 400 square feet of non-dwelling space without a permit. So that's real nice. I'm going to build this space generally to house uh, materials uh, that we'll be using when we uh, build the house. So right now I've got materials stored in the existing garage, but again, that garage is going to be raised uh, probably in the next 30 to 45 days. So I need this building to store that material as well as other tools and implements. Um, what else is going on this week? Oh, I know what's going on. You want to talk about your uh, thespian uh, adventure? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Lisa Maria is involved in our local theater group. Uh, got started in that about probably two years ago and uh, has found herself really enjoying that experience. We're in the middle of uh, a production right now. In fact, this weekend is the final weekend for the production. And uh, I got to see it for the first time last night. And uh, I was able to capture a few moments of that experience for your enjoyment. <laughs> Good All luck right. with that. <laughs> So that's it for today. Sorry about it being a short one, but uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. What's, what's wrong? Oh, it's this silly thing. I have this pill I need to take or else I get all weird. I know I'm wrong with him. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Are you sure we could go to a pharmacy or something? No, no. They're more of a precautionary drug. You know, won't kill me if I don't take them for one night. It just may be a little out of whack. <laughs> you probably won't even be able to tell. <laughs> so, anyway. Anyways? It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, the, the feeling's mutual. Oh, yes. So nice to finally put a name with a face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Seriously. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You're cute. He's not cute. You just haven't been out in a while. <laughs> That's just not true. He is good looking. You're embarrassing yourself. Quit freaking out. What? Why are you jumping all over me? We started it. Girls, don't fight. What would your father think? Ah. Let him fight. Are you okay? You stay out of this. What? Why are you jumping all over him? You just met him. Oh, he can take care of himself. Oh, oh, ah! 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 All right, who brought the monkey?
me. <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Oh, shoot. I guess. I'm so sorry. Oh, monkey, come on. Young lady, you don't want yourself. You're grounded. Oh, get off the case, woman. Oh, 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 ah! Ha, ha, ha. 